hi guys so um this is the um process involved you go to google and type hcpc then um you click on it hcpc means health and care professions council you click on it then you go to registration since that is what we are um after you go to registration then it will show you something like getting on the register okay so we are more interested in getting on the register so let's go there yeah so okay we are on the register we have different routes we have the international routes and the the routes that involves people who studied in the United Kingdom. So your application route depends on whether you completed your training in the UK or internationally. So um, for today, we'll be facing those who trained. That is, you did your bachelor's degree in medical laboratory science or biomedical science, at, depending on what it is called in your home country. So yeah, we'll click on internationally. I'm sorry, I did not know that um, the voice over was not recording when I initially made the video. So this is just me making another voice over. So apparently I was saying some things while on this particular screen. I think that's why it's taking long. But please bear with me. So yeah, internationally. Now, international applicants. So this is the section for international applicants. So it is for the section is for applicants who have completed professional training and practice outside the UK and haven't been registered with JCPC before. So if you have not been registered with JCPC before and you completed your training outside and practice outside the UK, this section is for you. So let's see. Then we move eligibility to apply yeah documents you need how to apply via the international application route what to expect when you make an international application possible outcomes once you're on the register yeah so let's go back up let's go back up eligibility to apply so that's where we are on now Let's click on that. Yeah, so international application route. What what makes you eligible is that you must have undergone training in one of the relevant professions outside the UK and have not previously been registered with GCPC. So one of the professions that are registered by GCPC is biomedical science. And we also have physiotherapy, radiography, and dietetics, and um, some other professions. I think there are about 14 professions yeah so sorry i didn't go to that page before coming here um, so but well, let's proceed <laughs> yeah so please bear with me but then you can just take your time to read through what you see on your screen Take your time but it's actually self-explanatory something like you just follow the prompts from here you know where to go to next and the likes so yeah and when i did mine i actually did the paper form you would see something talking about the paper form around there they started this online form this online method in may 2022 so let's go to um, documents you need to prepare. I think that's one of the most important things we need to take notes. 
it is very important that you upload copies of all necessary documents and that the copies are all correctly certified to avoid significant delays in your application. So apparently some documents need certification while some do not need certification. Okay, so um, when we get to the place talking about certification, I think I would talk about it there. So one thing is just to like go through the instructions and you would see what you need and what you do not need to certify. But when you are certifying any document, the thing is that you are going to make a photocopy of that document. Okay, so the documents needed. Let's go there. Proof of identity and address. For your proof of identity, you can make use of your international passport. That's good. For your proof of address, please, it's preferable you make use of your bank statements. Now, they are not interested in your bank account or whatever. But you know in Nigeria our bank statement or yeah our bank statement carries our address. So ensure that the address on your of your on your bank statement tallies with what you'll be imputing during your application. And if there's need for you to change your address or something, you can't just ensure that what you have on your bank statement tallies with what you are entering on your application form. And just a page showing your your address. Is enough it's not like they need all your statement or something it's not like they're interested in you in your money you can also use your utility bill but you know most of the time some of us stay with other people or we are not alone in their house and um, the bills are not exclusively exc exclusively paid by us sorry please pardon that so so you can see why I feel like it's better in my case I used my bank statements so Let's see where it's going to take us to next and to show us the other documents needed. Another document very important is your course information form. Your course information form will be gotten from your university or training institution. They would there's a there's a form on the HPC website you can download and send to your department. That's if they don't know about it. But if they know about it, like for example, I finished from Lautech, and once you Reach out to your depart to the department and tell them you need HCPC course information form. They know what we are talking about. They will tell you what to do and you move on from there. You also need your professional qualification certificate. That is your certificate. You need that as well. So please take note. The first thing, proof of identification, of course, that's very important. Proof of address, your course information form from the school. Your professional certificate would also be gotten from the school. Another thing you would need is, you can see that down there is the certificate of English proficiency. Now, for those of us that are trained in Nigeria or that are from Nigeria, English is our first language. So, when you get to that stage of your application and is asking for what your, is English your first language, just tick yes. Since that's your first language and you were also um, trained in English. So um, you can get your certificate of English proficiency from your university. This is will be used to confirm the proficiency. Um, it will be used to confirm if you are truly proficient in English. Your most universities know about this. Just just get it from them, and yeah, you add it to your application. Now the next thing is certifying your documents. Um, although when I applied, then I submitted my license my um up-to-date license but um i'm not too sure if it is needed in this online application because i learned that maybe there's no space for it but you can actually add it to your documents there's a section for adding your for uploading your documents i feel like it's even better that way like if you can just add it to your document your license up-to-date license so there's something called certifying the, your documents so I think that's what is going to take us to next, certifying your documents. Copies of your documents must be correctly certified by a person of good standing in the community. Now, this person can be an accountant, a pastor, your boss at work, someone of good standing in the community. So um, how to certify your documents? This is it. Just read through it. Um, yeah. It will, it will show us an example of... Um, what a certified document looks like and bear it in mind you don't certify your original document too you make a photocopy and the statement is written on it the statement is i certify that this is a true copy of the original document as seen by me 
person will sign, write his or her name, email address, and date. So that's all. Yeah, if you go to the website, you'll be able to see the image clearly. Okay. So um, I think basically that's that's just all. That's all the documents you need. That's all the documents you need. You would also need some additional documents too. Um, like reference letter from your place of work. Yeah, reference letter from your most recent place of work. You would also need um those every email address you'll be submitting that is not yours. Like maybe you need to submit the email address of your of your supervisor or whatever. Please let those email addresses be official email address like um something like a x y z at loudtech.edu.ng that kind of address or xyz at loudtechteachinghospital.com just ensure that you are submitting because ACPC relates with apart from you the main applicant any other correspondent any other person they will be reaching out on your behalf as to um have an official email address I don't know if that makes sense so please take note when you are filling in um, your employer's email address, your supervisor or lecturer's email address, as the case may be, please ensure that you are filling in um, an email address that is official. And I've, yeah, I've mentioned um, an example of how an official email address looks like. If they don't have, please, if possible, you can try to encourage them to create one. You might need to buy a domain or something. Yeah, so please ensure that you do all of this. Then um, there's a group. There's an HCPC group I joined in that made my process easy. It made the process so easy for me. If you would like to join this group, it is self-explanatory. Once you're on the group, you go through the pin messages. You are good to go. Just go through the pin messages. You will see what you need to do and what you don't need to do there on the group. 